Hello, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. We're back with this case. Uh, it's a Strauman. Uh, uh, the head of the screw actually is, is pre, uh, pre-opted with a stripped head, uh, comparing it with the star configuration. We did make an attempt to alleviate any vertical obstruction and went ahead and tried to use a slot. Still uh, couldn't budge it. So now what we're going to do is go internally and take the head of the screw off. So I'm going to go ahead with that. We'll get rid of I'm very comfortable in just mm, this approach. So we're going to just use this approach here for now. I need a periodontal probe next. So we're going to measure this height and compare it to what we have. So this is about almost two millimeters in height. If we take the screw and measure it, the head, head of the screw, It's less than that, so the screw head is well into uh, prep is well into the screw head itself. So we just need to go laterally. It should be uh, good to go. Okay, we got movement, so that's good news. All right, see the lip? That's coming away, or it could be the top of the screw coming away. We'll see. Let's do this. It could be. I'm gonna. Well, it's a hex, right? Okay, I'm just gonna put a dot there. See if it did, did get movement. Yeah, there it goes. See it spinning? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so this way is unscrew. Now I just moved from here to here, so but it's moving. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we're gonna check your mouth. Make sure there's nothing rough in there. You okay? Anything on your screen? Okay, I'm just gonna look because it's a pretty small item. It's gonna do a quick look here. You're okay underneath? Okay, here it is. Cotton plier. Got it? Okay. 
we got it. Okay, so yeah, you're in good shape. All right. It's just now it's a matter of going through the formality. So I could take the bar off and try, I'm going to try to just sneak it out this way. All right, and then I'll put a, a screw back in there. Micro suction, please. So we don't need this, Robert. Thank you. All right, good news. I'll just dry that now. All right, now we'll move this way here. Let's just see. It does like to spin, but we'd like it to spin the other way. It's uh, this way. So let's just see. There we go. Uh, there it comes. On its way out. Oh, isn't that a beautiful thing? Oh, you bet we're taping. <laughs> I'm here with uh, Robert Marrero of Strom, and, and he's uh, shaking his head. He's saying, good job. This is good stuff. We're finally uh, saving the day for our patient here. Uh, I did speak to the patient's dentist, and uh, we discussed this parts of this procedure in depth. But uh, it's nothing better than when it happens. Uh, now what we'll do is uh, we'll take a, a little... It's like a Q-tip of wax. We call it a pick and stick. And we just go in there and, and, and now we know it's ready to go. But we want to put a, we want to drape a two by two underneath. So two by two gauze. Okay. Comes the gauze. And just Out it comes. We'll take a look at that screw. I'll just inspect the threads and see all the bio burden that's on it. So we got to clean all that out. A lot, most of that's inside the fixture. So, but let's look more closely. You can actually see some aberrations in the thread. Or is that? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's how big it is. All right. So. Yeah. The oh. Okay. So here we are. The rest of it is routine. So we'll go right in with two new cotton rolls. We're going to go right ahead with the cavity cleanser. That's first. And then we'll go right in with um, our tartar and stain cleaners. And then we go through an assortment of brushes, folks. We've got uh, bristle brushes. We've got uh, little trees, little proxy brushes. So we're going to go right through, leaving everything in position now. And... Uh, Let's look real close. You can actually, if I just go in very, very gently with the Perio Probe, I'm just going to stir it up a little bit first. You can see the debris in the side. So, first things first, cavity cleanser. This has a little end tough brush on the end of it, so that's to flush it out. Okay, and now I want to go with the tartar and stain. And we'll let this just pre-soak now. All right. Now, Bernie, some of this might sneak through and touch your gum tissue. If it does, let me know if it's burning, all right? And I'll, I'll take care of that for you right away. You okay? Very good. So just going to let that pre-soak at this point. Um, we've got a, another screw that needs to go in there. So we will just hand tighten that because all these occlusal screws are just hand tightened. They're not uh, not to do anything else. Let's just notice while we're soaking, I'm noticing if there's any aberrations on a slight on the internal aspect of this rim. But a hand tightening is not going to cause a tr any trouble as long as you can gain access. Yep, uh, at 15 newton centimeters, Robert just informed me, or less. <laughs> so no. No ratchets, no, uh, just hand tightening, all right? 
Okay, very good. Now we just suction that out. See, we still got some in there. Yeah, there's some debris. It's in a lot of them that are broken inside. Some kind of that's that's my procedure. Uh, more. I think Robert, your implant company is the only one that puts the serial numbers at the bottom of these things, right? Mm -hmm. at, uh, yeah, but I Now this is the key, when you bring your, your tartar and stain in here, now you go around in circles with this, take a good look at the bristles on your brush, because that'll tell you if you're, you're successful in removing anything from the threads, because let's face it, you can't really see the threads sideways, you know, you're just trusting that you're getting what's in there out and cleaning it thoroughly, so take a good look at that and you can see there's plenty on that brush so we take a new brush put another drop in there and just keep repeating the process because you don't want to build Loctite or semi-Loctite situation where you're, you're tightening a thread and uh, and then you've got calculus or, or plaque but you, are you okay underneath? So you can see the color. Once it's clear, then we're we're probably good to go here. So I'm gonna just um, stay tuned for the next video.